The first ARE 5.0 exam I ever took was an interesting experience. I remember being anxious and clicking through the screens, waiting to get to the infamous interface, which I had only heard about. Upon arriving at that interface, I remember very early on during that exam that I realized I made a critical, critical mistake. Now this is one of many factors that I think contributed to my failing that first exam. But in this video, we're gonna discuss what that one critical mistake was. So stick around. I think you're gonna to wanna to hear this. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sarah and I'm on my own path of licensure. At the time of filming and uploading this video to YouTube, I am an unlicensed architect. This video is for entertainment purposes only and its purpose is strictly to share my own opinions of methods that have helped me as I study and prepare for the ARE 5.0 exam. How are you preparing for the exam questions pre-exam day? How are you practicing those questions? Are you using a pen and paper or some other method? What if I told you, and this is strictly from my own very observation and experience, that how you practice the questions pre-exam day could either contribute greatly to your success or to your failure on the exam? You see, back in November of 2020, NCARB released the following article, and it is about how the online proctoring exam changes would begin on December 14th of 2020 in this new updated format. Now, here are two sentences I wish I read on the NCARB website before I took my first exam. And this website is brilliant. NCARB is here to really help you succeed and pass your exam. So really read through and dig into some of these articles and look at the wording closely because I think there is a lot of value provided here. The first sentence I wish I read is the following. We recommend becoming familiar with the functionality of the new whiteboard tool before taking the updated exam before taking the updated exam. Common sense, right? But I'm guessing that a large percentage of you, myself included, did not do this before that first exam. Now, a slight divergence, but I promise it will apply. Chris Hadfield, a former astronaut on the ISS, wrote this incredible book that I highly recommend that all of you read, anyone should read, whether they're taking the exam or not. It's called An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth. And it talks about Chris's experience as he was preparing for that launch day. He simulated launch, pre-launch, launch, being in orbit hundreds and millions of times and visualized all the different ways anything could go wrong and had a response built in to his brain so that when the actual experience did arrive, he was so prepared. And that same lesson is so valuable for us as we're taking the ARE 5.0 exams, whichever exam that we're taking, that experience is valuable because it teaches us that we must prepare and anticipate the interface, anticipate what we're going to be seeing on the exam so that when that exam does show up, we can smoothly work through the questions and not feel tied down by trying to understand how the interface of the exam works. So I highly recommend you read that book. I'll leave a link to the description below. It's awesome storytelling. Uh, I really love the book. And actually, I think I read it like once a year, every year, just to remind myself of all those lessons. So the questions I'm gonna cover in this video are threefold. The first question is, how do I access that NCARB demonstration exam to be able to practice the demo exam? Number two is, how does that demo exam work? How do I utilize that interface? And number three, how do I study for the actual exam questions pre-exam day using the features on that interface, including that whiteboard feature? Let's begin with the first question, which is, how do I access the demo exam on the NCARB website? The first thing you do is go to the actual NCARB My Login page and go ahead and log into your NCARB account. Now you see the login page, which has your My NCARB account, NCARB record, and all that stuff. But if you look over to your right-hand column, there's the account information, questions, community sites, and that one subheading says exam resources. That's the one we're looking for. 
as soon as you click on the link, you're presented with this screen. And this screen is not gonna be on that exam day as a screen that's shown to you. This is simply NCARB explaining to all of us that the online proctoring demonstration exam is a total of 75 sample items from all six divisions that it provides us with the opportunity to familiarize ourselves with exam content, item types, case studies, to practice, that's the key, practice using test taking tools and navigating an ARE divisional exam. NCARB has gone so far as to give us a test taking simulator where we can actually go in there, simulate the exam taking experience and learn how it's going to be on exam day. As soon as you click next, this screen is definitely going to be the first one that you encounter the moment that you, you know, sit and turn on the exam, whether you're taking it at home, online, or you're taking it at a proctoring center. This is the first screen that you're going to see, which is a summary of the ARE candidate agreement. We're not going to go through all that, but I definitely highly recommend you read through this, get a sense of what it's saying, understand it so that on exam day, you can fly through that easily. Click on, I reaffirm, which you are affirming to that statement and then you get the second of screens that you're presented on exam day, which is the final testing reminders. And when you click on next, here we are, we get to the main page of the exam. It's gonna look exactly like this. And Carb, thank you for providing this resource because we get to simulate that whole environment here, uh, looking at case study question format and also the actual question format and interface. As you can see, one thing to note in the upper right hand corner, there is a time remaining. That is a countdown for the time, the total time counting down to how much time you have left. And that break feature is right beneath it. But to access that whiteboard feature, click on any question here. We're not gonna go through strategies really of how to use, how to take the exam or you know where to begin with or which questions. We're just gonna simply talk about the whiteboard feature here. Now, in this interface, when you come to any question, you have this gray bar that has the highlight, strike through, calculator, whiteboard, and references feature. The references are simply just a list of formulas that you can use if applicable to your exam. The whiteboard is what we're looking to um, use here, but the calculator is just a simple box that pops out, and you can use that just like any other calculator that comes with any of your computers. And the strike through and highlight is used really to highlight or strike through portions in your exam question. Beginning with the whiteboards though, so you can click on that whiteboard feature and you have that whiteboard pop out. And normally I like to organize my page this way. I know that it covers a bit of the question, but you know I can always move it out of the way when I'm reading and then just move it back or stretch this out however you like. It's very easy, it's very intuitive. You can use the pen feature to draw on the screen or the erase feature, there's the text box, so you can actually write text. So we can say utilization rate equals, I'm doing this on an iPad Pro, so I cannot use the full functionality of this uh, on my iPad Pro. Definitely recommend that you have this on a regular computer screen and using your mouse and not a digital pen to access a lot of this. So having issues here because of that, but just wanted to show you, you know, some of those features, you can go ahead and write key formulas, key, uh, you know, pieces of information from your actual question here. You can draw shapes as well. If you're you know, calculating like maybe a structural problem or something like that, you can also use the select tool to select the object and move it around on your screen here and you have these zoom features. You can also change the color of your object as well, uh, as well as the border and opacity, which is interesting. I don't know why anyone would need to work with the colors and opacity, but if you have that kind of time on the exam, then great. But it's just another feature that you can sort of look at with how you take your test taking strategy and see if that uh, could be used in some way. Because I'm working on a smaller screen and it doesn't work quite well, but. All you do to practice questions pre-exam day using this feature is, you know, if you have a double screen, then it would be great for you to take this screen and put it on one of your screens. And if you have your question, an exam question, maybe from a third party exam resource, you can take that exam question and put it on your second screen and 
practice using this whiteboard and actually solving the problem in that whiteboard itself. I'm telling you, this is a game changer. I practiced the exam questions on the first exam I ever took on a piece of pen and paper. And come exam day, I it felt like my hands were handcuffed because I was wanting that paper. I was wanting that. I had trained my brain to want that paper to think on, to write on, because that's how I had trained for the exam questions. But if you start to get familiar with this tool from the very beginning of practicing and preparing for the exam and using it to solve literally every question that you practice between now and taking your next exam, when the exam time comes and you get that math problem or you get a problem where you need to know all the formulas, you've already practiced it. You know exactly how you're going to strategize. Let's say it's a utilization rate problem and you know the formula, but you can jot it down quickly on the whiteboard. You can jot down any important numbers and steps and use this feature to solve exam questions pre-exam day. That is all I wanted to include in this video really was to show you how to access the demonstration exam, show you this whiteboard feature tool and encourage you to use it for your exam questions pre-exam as a powerful strategy, which I think can be a game changer in how you take the exam. Let me know if you have already done this strategy before, if you've prepared using this, or if you've prepared using some other feature or tool or just a pen and paper, how does that work for you? Maybe it's not a big deal for you. Maybe you've practiced using a pen and paper and come exam day, the whiteboard is just a piece of cake for you. That's great. You don't need to change your strategy. This is just simply another lifeline, another tool to help you think about how you solve the problems. And if you found any portion of this video helpful, then please smash that like button and looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care.